Hey guys, how's it going? Got another cool horn to look at today. So this is a Airchime K3L, Canadian made horn. Uh, it is a sandcast horn also. Now, your standard K horns, they're die cast. Your Canadian sandcast horns are sandcast, as the name says. So this is a Holden horn. Uh, it is an Airchime, not a Nathan Airchime, just Airchime only. Uh, Holden. So you can see the Holden tag on the number one bell here. Uh, these horns are Canada only horns. Uh, as you can see on the back cap, it says air chime and then made in Canada. Uh, these horns are a little different than your other K bells, uh, like the foot. They use cork gaskets only. There's no indention for an O ring. Uh, these horns, I'm not real familiar with them on how to date them. Uh, I want to say this is from your early 60s. Uh, not sure though, I can't say for sure. So let me know in the comments below what the date of this horn is, when it was made, because I'm not sure, still learning. Uh, your Canadian stuff, I, I'm not as uh, polished on as some of the other stuff. Uh, so anyway, with these horns being sandcast, uh, there's some different differences on them. Uh, the numbers, like the one, the two, and the three, they're cast different. They look different than your regular sandcast, or your regular, uh, uh, regular K horn. Uh, so that's a difference. Uh, the manifold, this is a the type of manifold that a uh, this horn would come on. There's also another low manifold that they came on. Uh, but anyway, this is an XCN horn. Now it has been repainted. Um, this is not the original paint. Uh, when I got it, it was, uh, it was just a solid black. Uh, so I wanted to paint it up. Probably shouldn't have, but I did. So it looks good though. I like it. So sounds really good. Uh, has a unique sound to it. Uh, not like your standard K3L. It has that sand cast sound. So anyway, just a really good sounding horn. So this is my made in Canada Holden K3L.